You know, what are people going to say if I pull up on a 1980-something Fox body? To hell with what people think. All right, guys, so this is the same day that we did the window guide bushings on the car. I told you I would save this video for later, but Andrew has come over today to give us somewhat of an update on his car. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, there's nothing really to talk about uh, on the car. He's not really done anything to it. He's probably done the best thing that he could, though, with this car, which is drive it and enjoy it. Honestly, guys, he's just been so happy with the car lately that he's just wanted to drive it. There's not really a lot to do to this car. The only thing that needs to be done to it is paint. Andrew is one of these guys he just drives these cars I'm telling you they are just a driver he's not so worried about keeping you know every speck of dirt out of the carpet and floor mats I can appreciate that uh, you know that stuff can just be cleaned up later on every once in a while he'll go through and he'll detail his cars and whatnot but for the most part he drives this thing every single day and he absolutely loves it so that begs the question, can these Fox bodies be daily driven nowadays? Now you've got to have a decent car. I mean, there's some junkers out there that you don't need to be driving every day, but there's, you know, there's vehicles like that all over the place, not just Fox bodies. But you absolutely can drive these cars every day. Look, these cars still hold up good. They really are. I know a lot of people give them shit, you know, and they say they rust out and they're just, they're cheap cars and the plastic and blah, blah, blah. I've heard it all, right? And yes, by the way, these are coming out. We are going to a three-piece headlight kit. Andrew heard me and he said immediately. So that is something that we will be changing. Anyway, back to what I was saying. You can drive these cars every day. And, and you know, a lot of people say that they rust out and that they're cheap cars and this and that. It's just like anything else. You have to take care of them, have to maintain these cars. But if you do, you've got a good car. You've got a car that you can take anywhere. They actually ride pretty good. They drive really good and they're just fun cars. They're really fun cars to get in and take a trip in. Me and my buddy Joe Nate, we used to take my old Fox body, which is now Andrew's Fox body, back and forth to Tennessee and Kentucky all the time. I mean, that car made several, several trips. Got 25 miles to the gallon. That car got good gas mileage, had plenty of power. It was fun and we enjoyed it. And you know, we had room for luggage in the back and everything else, so it, it was fine. Like I said, it obviously depends on how good a shape your car is in. You know, if it's leaking oil everywhere and you know, the front end's all worn out, of course, you know, you don't want to drive it on long trips and whatnot. Pick yourself up a pretty decent one. You can find a nice one usually for anywhere in the four to six thousand dollar range that you can drive every day. This car right here still holds up to this day. Just get it out and about, and there's always going to be somebody come up and talk to you about it. That's not what it's about, guys. Let's be honest. It's about enjoying these cars and having what you want, not what everybody else has and what they want you to have. And they're a smart buy because they're still going up in value, especially these coupes. These coupes hold their value like no other. Now, back in the day, these were not necessarily the cars to have like they are today. Today, everybody wants a coupe. The GT is making a comeback, no doubt about it. And you have options. You can either go with the GT, you can go with the coupe you can go with the lx hatchback you have so many different options but they're smart buy because they are a good car and you don't have to spend a lot of money let's be honest guys everybody has a new mustang now and i'm not knocking you if you drive a new mustang because it's all about what you want but a lot of times i feel like people maybe want a fox body but they're scared that they're too old you know uh, can i drive this car every day you know what are people going to say if i pull up on a 1980 something fox body to hell with what people think and to hell with what they say because i'm going to be honest with you if that matters to you pull up on a nice fox body and everybody's going to want to talk to you about it maybe not everybody you pull up on your brand new mustang and yes you might have somebody come up to you and compliment you but also there's a possibility that the 16 year old neighbor has a 2018 mustang with you know 500 horsepower and everything else so you know those cars are just everywhere that's one of the first cars everybody wants is a new camaro new mustang something like that these right here are cool these are cool cars and look i try to stay up with the times guys i try not to be you know some dude stuck in the 80s or the 90s you know i pay attention to these new cars and there's a lot of them out there that are absolutely beautiful but you don't stand out from the crowd a lot of times with these newer cars a car like this right here you absolutely stand out it makes good sense to purchase one of these cars because you can pick one up 
anywhere from around four thousand to honestly you can name your price you can pay twenty plus thousand for one but typically people are going to stay in the four to ten thousand range with this but let's just be real guys that's tax money for some people maybe that's a bonus at your work maybe you save up for a little while and you can go out with cash money and buy a really cool car that not a lot of people have i'll tell you an interesting fact and maybe this i hope this doesn't deter anybody but these cars this platform now the fox body is 40 years old they have been out for 40 years crazy to think about makes me feel old obviously yes these cars have been out for a very long time 40 years because the model year started in 78 like they come out and they hit showroom floors in 1978 and it is now 2018 guys 40 years old and they are still out here on the streets and they're looking pretty good you know a lot of them got destroyed either they rusted out people use them as drag cars and cut them up and whatnot but there are still some survivors out here which there again is another thing that makes these cars so cool because they're not that easy to come by and let's be honest if you do run across one a lot of the time they are not very good cars obviously don't go out and buy a two thousand dollar fox body that has rust all over it and the doors are hanging off of it you don't want to go there but if you're interested in one of these cars get up with somebody that maybe knows them a little better watch some videos learn yourself what to look for on them and go pick one up you can always get your money back out of them if that's the case and you don't like it now looks are subjective obviously you know you may look at this car and think oh my god that's horrible i don't want a car like that and that's understandable i like these cars i like third gen camaros i know can you believe i just said that i've actually owned some i've owned an 88 trans am gta and i've owned uh, an 89 rs camaro actually so i've owned different cars and they're all cool in their own right so it's not just fox bodies it's these older cars these third gen cars you know the camaros and the fox bodies are still out there guys and i suggest you give one a try if you're interested in it if you've ever seen somebody ride by in one and you think man that is just a cool car test drive one you know there's plenty of people in the world that have them go for a ride you know drive one see if you like it it's that cool factor it's that nostalgic deal that honestly just cannot be explained it is it's something that is completely different than the new model mustangs it's just a feel that they don't have if you still want a new mustang after you purchase one of these cars then by all means go out and buy yourself one but give these a shot if you're curious and possibly if you buy one at a good deal and you hold on to it you can make some money off of it these cars are going to be around for years to come why not go ahead and get you one now all right everybody here's andrew i know you hadn't seen him in a while he's still alive he's still around Barely. one other thing i want to touch on on these cars are you guys aware that the fox body car actually started the bolt-on phenomenon the mods for these cars all these crazy mods that you're seeing now and all these companies producing all these aftermarket parts for these cars nowadays it all started with the fox body 5.0 resto was one of the first companies out there i think cj pony parts and a few other mustangs unlimited places like that you know started making parts and carrying parts for these cars the aftermarket world exploded with the fox body not the camaro not anything else the fox body mustang really is the reason why we have so many aftermarket parts out here for all of these cars right now companies started buying in companies started producing parts for these cars i mean when they were new still the new body style come out in 1994 parts were already available for them I'm not necessarily talking about the engine parts because that was all the same but exterior parts and whatnot like i said the aftermarket world exploded because of these cars right here so that's something to think about you know there's wheels out there there's suspension there's anything you want to do to one of these cars you can pick a nice fox body up for five or six thousand dollars save your money you can put a set of wheels on it you can change the suspension you can put better brakes on it you can change the interior out you can do all that but you don't have to do it right now so you'll have a car that you can build off of and make better as time goes on you don't really have that luxury with a lot of these other cars nowadays you got the money go out and buy one and then later on make it the car that you want to think of these cars as a like a model car or a hobby car or an rc car because every nut every bolt everything is available for these this thing could get hit by a train tomorrow and it could be rebuilt if you wanted to i know you could probably have that argument about anything but not as easily as this check out lmr they have about everything you could possibly want for one of these cars all right guys we're going to wrap it up and as always thanks for watching
Andrew's got a couple different ideas for color. So velocity blue or we're tossing around, he didn't really like it, but we're tossing around the idea of white. And the reason is, you know, I bought white for my car. So I have a whole gallon of it that we didn't use that we could paint this car for essentially free. All he had to do was buy the clear coat. And I love a white coupe. I mean, you just can't go wrong with them. They look good. Plus for right now, we are not going to be able to do under the engine bay. Um, that's gonna have to come later. So if the motor ever comes out of the car, then at that point we will paint under the engine bay white or blue or whatever the color it is he decides. He will not be going back silver. So there's really no point in anybody even recommending that. But other than that color, I would like to hear your options or your opinions. So with Andrew, we kind of want to know what it is that you guys are thinking. What do you think this car would look good with? I will go ahead and tell you the wheel setup. What he's going to do is the 0304 Cobra wheels in machine finish. So it won't be black. It won't be chrome. There'll be the natural machine finish on the car. So that should look really good. It's going to stay four lug just because it's easier and it's cheaper. So this car will have 17 inch 0304 Cobra wheels on it. So what do you guys think? You like the white or do you like the velocity blue? Uh, I'm just more curious as to what you guys think. Uh, Andrew will obviously paint it whatever color he wants, but if you guys have some other ideas of some other colors that might look good, maybe something that we haven't thought about, then let us know. Hey, we're always open for new ideas, right? Next to the header, so it's causing some problems. But anyway, great.